Hi YouTube, it's me Rose, and I'm making this video to talk to you about the Pope and the Catholic Church. And um, always remember, God has given us power and authority that we should not fear. Amen? <laughs> okay, so this is from... Uh, Breaking Israel News. This article is from uh, August 14th, but however, I want to read uh, briefly. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bigger. Oh, my computer so slow. I'm sorry. Okay. A new interfaith of spiritual gathering of Christians, Jews, and Muslims will take place in Jerusalem this September. Amen, a house of prayer for all believers, part of the 16, 2016 um, that festival, <laughs> uh, from September 4th through the 23rd, is an uh, initiative created by the Jerusalem Season of Culture, an annual festival in Jerusalem, to bring together the world's three major faiths who share a belief in one God, that's not my God, and a boundless love for Jerusalem to dialogue, study, sing, and pray together in one temporary house of worship, said the press release. Actors, artists, actors, musicians, and media figures from around the world are expected to particip participate in the event. We will study, argue, yes, this is also allowed, and pray together and alone. We will see if it is possible, despite the Corporal differences, uh, difficulties, and earthly obstacles to create new reality. Ugh, scary. Said, okay. So, anyways, I'm going to leave the link for that. And um, that's happening in September. And uh, confirmed the Ark of Triumph is going up in New York City September 19th. So, let's pray against that, church. Come on now, let's pray. There's another article just to confirm it. Um, so I would like to end this uh, with Isaiah 40, 21 through 30. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent, to dwell in, that bringeth the prince to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. <laughs> yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, he, and he shall be blown upon them, and they shall wither, and the and the wind and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken? me or shall I be equal saith the Holy One lift up your eyes on high and behold who hath created these things that bringeth out their lost their hosts by number he calleth them all by name by the greatest of his might for that he is strong in power not one faileth why sayest thou O Jacob and speaketh O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, my judgment is passed over from my God. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even to the youths shall faint, even the youths shall faint and be weary, the young men shall utterly fall. Amen. So fear not, children, for the Lord is with us, and he will guide us, he will direct us, he will protect us, he will give us his grace, his wisdom, and his understanding, and he gave us his son for salvation. Amen. I love you, church. 
I, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Heavenly Father, I just pray that you would be with your uh, church, Lord, your little church in the wilderness. Father, you know each and every one of us, those that worship you in truth and spirit, those that come to you in fear and trembling with a repentant heart always, Lord, asking for forgiveness for the remission, of, that you would wash us clean with the blood that you shed on Calvary for the remission of our sins, always claiming your promises and always coming to you for every breath that we take, Lord. I pray that you would uh, protect us, that little church, Lord, that which is baptized and uh, uh, is born of the Spirit, born again, your blood-bought church, Lord, your church of Philadelphia, that will go through the door and will not suffer the wrath of God. Amen. Lord, we love you. I am praying for their church, this church, and I am praying for um, all that we love, all that we own, and everywhere we go, Lord God, that you would bless us. And Lord, also, my heart is just so broken, Lord, over those that are suffering and being persecuted in the Middle East and in all those other countries that are being they're held in prison for uh, believing in Jesus Christ and holding true to the gospel of peace. Lord, I pray that you would bless them, that those doors would be open. Lord, I'm praying for all... Um, all those children that will are uh, scheduled to be aborted today, Lord. I pray that you would do some mighty miracle so that something would happen and they would live this day, Lord. <laughs> Please bless the children, all of those that have uh, been abused by MK Ultra and all these uh, Satanists, Lord. And also, Father, we are coming into the time of September and October and, and in the uh, evil one rejoices and, and does all manner of evil, Lord. We just ask that you would bless and, pr and protect and be with our children, Father. And uh, protect each and every one of us from this technology and this attack of the technology, Lord. Chemtrails and what they put in the food and in the water. Lord God, we just thank you because I know that you always hear our prayer. And you always hear my prayer and answer my prayers according to your will. In the precious name. Of your son Jesus Christ amen thank you for your time church I love you and God bless you be with you always in Jesus Christ most holy 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 name amen bye